Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice, members of the judiciary. We commemorate a remarkable individual whose legacy epitomizes courage, strength, and unwavering dedication to justice. A profound impact in the legal field and a commitment to upholding the rule of law have shaped the cause of, the South, of South Africa's legal landscape. Judge Mahoros, or Justice Mahoros, trailblazing spirit and advocacy for women's rights have paved the way for future generation of legal professions. A membership in the International Association of Women uh, Judges and a recognition as an icon of the history of women lawyers in South Africa highlight the significant influence she yielded or she wielded both nationally and globally. Her influence on the legal profession, particularly in advocating, in advocating for women's rights and promotion of equal access to justice, has been profound and far-reaching. Today, the legal profession has been making strides in what we have seen a significant increase in the number of women advocates. As a trailblazer of transformation in the legal profession, Justice Mohora will be remembered for unwavering dedication to ensuring equal access to justice for all in a period where South Africa was transitioning from apartheid to democracy. Her career has been one of inspiration to many young female lawyers, judges, and advocates. As advocates, we often look to people like Justice Mohoro for guidance in tackling some of society's most difficult issues. As the current chairperson of the General Council of the Bar of South Africa and Advocates for Transformation, and a former student of Justice Mohoro, I hope to draw from the example set by Justice Mohoro so that I too can become a pioneer for transformation in the legal profession and system both to address <coughs> racial injustice of our past and to address inequality faced by women in our profession. Our contributions to issues concerning the protection of children, vulnerable communities and gender parity in the legal profession will resonate for years to come. Justice Mohoro's legacy stands as a testament to the enduring values of principles, courage and commitment in the pursuit of justice and equality. Justice Mohoro brought to bear her life, views, and express them in many ways that continue to shape the Ubuntu jurisprudence. As a constitutional court judge, a distinct voice emerged from the very first case decided by this court in State versus Makwanyane, in which the death penalty was declared unconstitutional. In a judgment, Justice Mohoro introduced Ubuntu as one shared value and ideal that runs like a golden thread across cultural lines in South Africa. She describes it as humanity, personhood, and morality, group solidarity, compassion, respect, human dignity, conformity to basic norms, and collective unity. Her embodiment of values such as Ubuntu jurisprudence have set the precedent that will echo for ages to come. As we mourn the, the loss of a legal luminary, we extend our deepest sympathies to the family. May they find comfort in the enduring leg legacy of Justice Mohoro, which continues to inspire us in a collective pursuit of justice and equality. Let us all draw strength from her courage and resilience as we strive to uphold the principles she championed throughout her career. Just as Yvonne Mohoro's legacy will continue to illuminate the path towards a more just and equitable society for all. Her contributions to defending the core tenets of justice, equality, and human rights remain an enduring testament to remarkable life and work. May her memory serve as a guidance as a guiding light for future generations seeking to walk in the footsteps and to uphold the ideals she held dear. As we reflect on our life work, may we extend our heartfelt condolences to a family. May they find solace in knowing that Justice Mohoro's legacy continues to inspire us and guides us to a more just and equitable society. Let us strive to embody our courage and resilience in our own pursuit of justice and human rights for all. May your soul rest in peace. Thank you, Chief Justice.